Hi everyone, this is Dr. Ben Ho Joel, Consultant Clinical and Interventional Pulmonologist and Sleep Medicine Physician, Vela Hospital, Chennai. Today, I'm going to talk about the importance of assessing lung function. As you know, the respiratory diseases are increasing day by day, mainly contributing due to an increase in ambient air pollution and poor air quality index. However, we have to identify what sort of respiratory illness the patient is having. So with the help of a pulmonary function testing that would include a spirometry, a lung volume assessment and a diffusion capacity for lung carbon monoxide, we can actually classify them into obstructive disorders as well as restrictive lung disease. So whenever we talk about obstructive lung disorders, there are three main diseases which we call commonly encounter one as bronchial asthma, bronchitis, bronchiectasis, COPD and cystic fibrosis. So in these patients, pulmonary function test plays a paramount role, one in the helpful of diagnosis of these disorders, also stratifying them into mild, moderate, severe and very severe category, therapeutic interventions or treatments which we can give for this patient, as well as the prognosis for the patient and the referral for a lung transplantation in case of end-stage lung disease. And finally, the long-term monitoring and the response to therapy can be done. So when we move to the respiratory restrictive side of the spectrum, so this can be a restriction happening within the lung, what we call as a parenchymal restriction due to ARDS or a pneumonia, or it can be formed in the form of interstitium, like an interstitial lung disease, like hypersensitive pneumonitis or an interstitial pulmonary fibrosis. Other contributing factors for respiratory symptoms include a neuromuscular disease or a chest wall disorder Order, where also the patient will have complaints of cough, breathing difficulty, fall in oxygen saturation and increase in carbon dioxide level. So we at Arela Hospital have a complete set of pulmonary function testing in the form of a spirometry, lung volume assessment, a DLCO as well as the estimation of MIP and MEP for patients with neuromuscular disorders. And recently we have done more than 100 procedures for our patients and thereby guiding treatment decisions with them. So any of you suffering from any respiratory illness, just like an echocardiogram and ECG in cardiology, I would recommend all patients in pulmonology and respiratory disorders to undergo a pulmonary function testing to know their lung function so that early intervention at the right time with the right diagnosis can lead to a better outcome in such patients. Thank you.